Texas Highway Patrol hasn't used them for 40 years. And now three state troopers are giving motorcycles a go once again. They're being tested right here in Austin. All new at 6, KXAN's Aaron Cargyle finds out how the new Harleys are holding up. You don't have to look hard to see state troopers cruising around the Capitol, patrolling in cars and on bikes. Now, a new, louder form of transportation has been added to their fleet. Hello. Hello, officer. I'm with the Highway Patrol, ma'am. The reason I stopped you, your, uh, your inspection, the bottom sticker is out of date. Mark Prevost is one of only three troopers trained on the two special law enforcement Harleys the state is leasing for a pilot program. Highway Patrol in Texas haven't used motorcycles since the early 70s. They're trying it again in a small section of downtown Austin surrounding the Capitol. Some of their time is spent sitting at crosswalks looking for expired stickers and making sure drivers are stopping for pedestrians. And that's all we want is just voluntary compliance. And it's little by little we're getting it. His last ticket went to a state employee pulling out of a parking garage. And she had so much on her mind from the, the day's work, she, went, she almost hit somebody in the crosswalk, and I was sitting there. For every ticket, troopers write three to four warnings. They say the advantage over a car, speed, maneuverability, and cost savings. These motorcycles use half the gas and are cheaper to maintain. Bravo says they came in handy working crowd and traffic control during University of Texas home games. DPS will evaluate the program at the end of August, and if they like the results, more Harleys could be hitting the streets. That that would be all right with him. Which is my favorite? <laughs> the motorcycles. It really is. Because I mean, I, I like riding motorcycles, and yeah, it's fun, but it's dangerous. It's just another one of the tools that we have to use in the security of uh, public safety for all the people out here. Aaron Cargyle, KXAN News.